Hello everybody. In this CSS3 and HTML5 tutorial, you can learn the simplified logic behind alternating colors of table rows, list elements, new lines, or any element that you require alternating styles for. So first, let's take a look at what this lesson code will render to the page. And here I am viewing it in Chrome, and you can see that we have alternating styles on those table rows. And it's very simple to achieve that using CSS3 nth child. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. It's nth, nth, nth child. All right, so this can be done for list elements, paragraphs, where you want to create a visual alternation between every other line. Okay, now let's get to the code, and I'll have this code available for copy-paste, so you guys don't have to type anything out really in the video. And the video is going to be very short and quick because this is so easy. You can see I have my doc type. My HTML tag starts right here and it ends all the way down there. And then my head tag starts here, ends there. And then my body tag starts here and ends there. You can see I have a simple, one little simple table in my body tag. Expand this information here so you can see the whole table sitting there. You can see I just have table row one, two, three, and four. Four rows, each one has one column. And you can see that it has a class set of my table. So let's go ahead and collapse that back up because we don't really need to look at that code. Now let's take a look at the CSS. And I'll explain the CSS to you pretty in depth, the uh, nth child logic anyway, because that's really the point of this lesson is to demonstrate the nth child selector, CSS3. These first two rules are really not part of the logic that makes the alternating styles for the table rows. That would be right here. But I added these two just to style my table up a little bit so it doesn't look so bland. So you see I have border, like gray border around all the cells, padding set, and things like that. So this is all very simple. We have a width set on the table of 100% and the border is collapsed. Let's see if I remove that border collapse and I run it, you'll see that there's division and separations within the cells, which I didn't want. You might want that, but I didn't want that, so I put uh, border collapse. Then in my table TD tags, which are all these little guys in there, those are all being styled with a padding of 8 pixels and a border color that I wanted. So that way they have a nice gray border that goes around everything, you see? You can make that any color you want. And thickness. Now the reason why I'm using a table that's set up with all CSS styling is because HTML5 deprecating all of the table attributes that we're used to. So if those are all being deprecated, you really can't use the uh, alignment or padding or anything that you're used to using. You can put a style tag in here, or a style attribute rather, and then just style it up. But you can't use any of the, like the old guys, like a line that's getting deprecated. Uh, what else is there? There's, I think there's V align. That one's deprecated. The horizontal align is deprecated. The, uh, the way you set padding on a table, if you go table, padding, the cell padding and cell spacing, those are deprecated. So I just wanted to mention that real quick because a lot of you guys might be saying, oh, Adam, why don't you just put table padding right there in the table? You really can't for HTML5. Okay, finally, let's take a good look at the CSS that renders the logic for the alternating styles in the table. So what we do is we put the class name, my table, then we put a space, and then the tags that we want to affect or the elements that we want to affect within this logic and that would be the TR the table row then we're using the nth child pseudo class selector of CSS3 and we're assigning an even value here you can set up your values like this using numbers and that way you can assign any number you want here like if you wanted that to be 4 or whatever or you can just put the word even it accepts the word even also as a value there. This one is equal to odd. So I was just putting the numbers in there so you guys could see how the numeric values would be set up. And you can use any numbers that you want in there. So I'm going to just put odd. And you'll see that when I render out, I'm going to have the same results. You see? Alternating table rows by even and odd. Or you can leave the numbers in place and play with them a little bit, change those numbers up, and you'll see all the results that you get. But if you just want the simple way to alternate every other row, then you can just use even odd. It makes things really simple. So we use nth child with even and odd to set up the 
alternating rows or alternating list elements, alternating paragraphs, lines, whatever you're doing. I'll have this code available for you guys to copy and paste if you want. Okay, we'll see you in the next lesson.